Welcome to a new episode of the Doing Deez Podcast. It's your boy Deez, around solo today. In this video, we're going to show you how to start a t-shirt business slash brand with very little money. Before we get started, it's your brand. Official brand of Doing Deez Podcast. This is our brand. So, before we get started, I'm going to tell you a little backstory how I got into making my own clothing line and all that stuff. So, back in probably maybe 2015 or whatever, I was going to, I go to the gym, I work out like probably three or four days a week. And I'm in the gym and I just see everybody wearing Nike, Under Armour, Adidas. I'm like, man, wh why I'm in the gym promoting these people brand when I can be in the gym promote my own brand? So I was just sitting back and I was just trying to think of like, think of names. Like I was thinking of names, like what can my brand name be? And I was thinking of all the slick names, but everybody had that. So just one day it came out of the blue. I looked at something and I saw an insured on that like insured brand. I B. That's gonna be my name. And the thing is, yeah, when I first made the name Insured Brand, you know what I'm saying? It sounded funny, but like I thought about what is Nike? What is Adidas when they came out? What is Reebok? You know what I'm saying? So I made my brand, I made my name, and I was like, you know what? That's what it's gonna be, Insure Brand. So eventually I'm, I, I got some t-shirts. Well, I, I was messing around on the app and I was putting Insure Brand on some t-shirts and I had Insure Brand the cursive. So like, oh yeah, I like that. I, I remember it caused a couple of my friends. I was like, yeah, I kind of like this. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's chills, you know what I'm saying? It's chills. So after I, after I did that, I was trying to find a vendor to do my shirts. So I went on Alibaba. You know, Alibaba, you know what I'm saying? I watch a lot of YouTube videos on how to start, you know what I'm saying, t-shirt business, whatever, all that stuff. So I went on Alibaba and I was searching for dry fit t-shirts. I went online in the United States. A lot of that stuff was really pricey. So I went on Alibaba and I reached out to a couple companies and I found one that was perfect, you know what I'm saying, the pricing was good. Only thing about when I reached out to Alibaba, whatever companies it was, it was like the, the quality, minimum qualifying offer. You had to order a lot of shirts. So when I first ordered my shirts, I had to buy 50 of each size. So I had to buy, so I wanted to buy 50 large, 50 extra large, and I wanted to buy, I bought, I bought 50 large black, 50 extra large black, and then I bought like 50 um, well, white and red and yellow, I mean white and red t-shirts. So like, I, I didn't really want to buy that many shirts at the time, because I was, you know what I'm saying, I was small. So I had 150 shirts, and I knew I was going to have a hard time selling them, but I, the price was good, you know, the price was really good. So I was like, all right, I got them. Thing was, like, when I got my shirts right, by me ordering from China, the size didn't fit too good. So, like, it was a size smaller, so I bought the, the, the extra large was like more like a large, and the large was more like a medium. So, bam, I got the t-shirts. So, you know what I'm saying, I sold a few, you know what I'm saying, I sold whatever, I met, how many I sold, right? It took me a little bit. Then, once I had enough money, I went and paid somebody to make a logo for me. So, I got somebody to make a logo for me, you know what I'm saying? Then now I had, I had my, my cursive shirts, and then I had, then I, then I went ahead and had a logo. So, when I got a logo, it was, it was probably like winter time or whatever. So, I got some sweatshirts. This time around, I didn't go through Alibaba. I was searching the web, I was searching the internet, and I was able to find me some like cheap sweatshirts, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to buy a sweatshirt. Matter of fact, these were the first sweatshirts I had. Bought this sweatshirt, and I got the logo on them. They got the Insure brand logo on them. And, it was, and one thing I say about sweatshirts compared to t-shirts is you got a bigger margin on sweatshirts. T-shirts, you know what I'm saying? You pay maybe, what, $5 for a blank or less. And you, you most likely, at the most, you're gonna get twenty dollars for a t-shirt, but for a sweatshirt, you can, you know, you find it right there on the sweatshirt, and you can, you can say sweatshirt, sweatshirt for fifty, forty, or fifty dollars. You know what I'm saying? So when we, when we was, when we were selling our sweatshirts, we was getting a lot of margin. You know what I'm saying? So that was cool. So we, you know what I'm saying? Then eventually, you know, we made a YouTube channel. I was like, I gotta find a way to get more eyes on my brand. We made a YouTube channel. You know, so so every YouTube video you see a short brand, and you'll see the logo in the back and all that. So, you know what I'm saying, we still grinding and everything. So, this, so I felt like this is the perfect time for me to pass my knowledge on to some of y'all that there's got, got a few questions. So, first keys, you want to figure out what type of clothes you're making. Are you making high-end clothes? you making casual, activewear, etc. So, like I said, with me, it was activewear because that's what I do, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I was in the way, I mean, I wear high-end stuff too. But, you know, it's kind of hard to come out there and you, you sell high-end stuff. People really going to buy your stuff. But 
active wear, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's a big market. So we you wanna pick what type of clothes you want you gonna make for t-shirt. Next you wanna find out who are you marketing your brand to, you know what I'm saying? Are you marketing it to women? Are you marketing to men? You marketing to everybody, marketing to kids, older people, younger people. So you wanna pick, you wanna think about who you marketing your clothes to and who you can sell to, your friends, family, all that stuff. Next, you wanna you wanna um pick a name and you know what I'm saying that picking a name is hard because you, you want you want to pick something slick you know what I'm saying but all the trendy names is gonna be taken you want to be able to pick something that you know that you can trademark and it, it's not already trademarked already you know what I'm saying because you don't want to pick a name you got a name like say like uh finesse a sign 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 slick that everybody be saying and per, like period, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you trade something, trade more, something like that. Somebody already trademarked it already, so you, you won't be able to use it, you know what I'm saying? So once you get your name, like we did, we got to show a brand. Once I got to show a brand, I went and took every social media handle that I could get. So I went on Instagram, I made a show a brand Instagram. Even if I don't use it, I made a Twitter for a show a brand. I made a Snapchat for a show a brand. I made a Facebook. So. Nobody can use the handle, you know what I'm saying? So I already got those handles on lockdown. So you, when you get your brand, you want to make sure you take all social media handles so you can have it on lockdown. Then, when it comes to trademarking your brand, I feel like this. Why spend the money to trademark it if it ain't really selling? You know what I'm saying? If you know your brand will sell, go ahead and do it. But if it ain't really selling, Ain't nobody gonna steal it. I'm gonna keep it 100, but you ain't nobody gonna steal it. gonna steal it for if it ain't really selling. You know what I'm saying? And another thing I'm gonna say I learned over time that if you've been using it, using it, you know what I'm saying, over the years, and you got proof, nobody can they can't really just steal your joint. Cause like, so you've been using it for for months or years, and then somebody tries to steal, they really just can't use it like that. You know what I'm saying? So you got that. So once you got your name for your brand. Next, you want, you know what I'm saying, you got a brand, you want to have a logo, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, you got like Polo, Wrestling Ready, got the horse, you got the Gucci, you got the two Gs, you got Louis Vuitton, they got the LV, Under Armour, got the UA. So you want to get you a logo, you want to get you a logo for your brand, you know what I'm saying? So your brand can stick out, like whenever somebody see the IB, they know what it is, you know what I'm saying? So you want to get, you want to get you a logo. Next, this is, this is big, you want to find somebody to do your shirts. Like I said earlier, you might want to go like Alibaba is perfect to get custom stuff. You go to Alibaba. Only thing I said, only thing about Alibaba is when you starting out, you know what I'm saying, is a high. You got to buy a lot of stuff, and if if you don't really got a big, you know what I'm saying, big brand, you know what I'm saying, big following, you're not gonna sell a lot in the very beginning. So that's why I think I made my mistake in the beginning when I went to Alibaba. I didn't know no better, but I ordered all my shirts through them, and you know what I'm saying, and they were good quality shirts. Don't get me wrong. But I didn't need 150 shirts. In other, you can go on different websites. And you can find, if you search hard enough, you can find you some cheap, cheap, cheap t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? You can find cheap blanks. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can get your shirts one or two dollars a piece. You can get your hoodie for five dollars a piece. And just imagine you get a hoodie for five dollars and you sell it for four. That's thirty-five dollars profit right there off the muscle. You know what I'm saying? So you got that. You also go to like. Um, Go to like when you get your shirts made, you can go to like Alibaba or go to a local shop. Get get support a local business. You know what I'm saying? I go to a guy in my in my neighborhood. He do a great job. I leave I'ma leave his stuff in the um comment section, in the description. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? You go to one of your local shops. You know I and mean? they give you a good deal on the shirts or whatever, and they print it for you. Do a good job. You know what I'm saying? He had business with them, or um or. Push come to shove, you can learn how to do it yourself. You can buy a heat press machine and you can just print out your own shirts, you know what I'm saying? And it'll save you money. You know what I'm saying? Take time, learn how to do it, buy your own heat press machine, and you can print print your stuff out. And honestly, with that, you can print as you go. You know, you don't gotta print out a hundred t-shirts. You can somebody order something, go ahead and print it out. Basically made the order. And then when it comes to um selling your shirts, you know what I'm saying. There's free websites out there that you can just put your clothes on there and sell it. Like, we go through um, Big Cartel, you know what I'm saying? And with Big Cartel, you can post five items and it's free per month, it's free. But if you, if you, if you do more than that, like, you know, it'll, it'll charge you more. So there's it's websites out there, or you can design your own website. But there's websites out there that you can use 
to sell your brand. And don't forget, you know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you have an Instagram. Oh, you want to have all the social media so you can post your videos and post your, um, your clothes on there and sell. And one thing, another thing I can say about um, when you start your brand, you're going to get support from the people you least expect it. You know what I'm saying? You know, so your inner circle will help out some, somewhat, but it's going to be people you least expect going to be like, man, I'm on a shirt, or I want some sweatshirts, or this or that. So be prepared. Be prepared for like, uh, you not you might think you might not get support that you think you should get. But one day I say, this is a perfect time to be an entrepreneur because you basically get free promotion. You post your joint on the social media and everybody see it. You know what I'm saying? So that's one good thing. And um, one thing I was going to say is just keep on grinding. Don't ever give up. And just keep on pushing your brand until, you know, and eventually your brand is going to pop. If you work hard enough, it's going to pop. You know, if you got any questions, you know what I'm saying? If you got any questions that you want to ask me, you can shoot me an email. Leave a question in the, um, in the comment section. And don't forget, man, support and show a brand, man. Link going to be in the description. We're going to have a link up here somewhere. Go ahead and support us, man. We've been doing our thing. You know what I'm saying? We got a good logo, IB. And we coming. Like, share, subscribe. I'm out.